the electricity needed to toast a piece of bread takes quite a journey to your wall outlet. It passes through many pieces of equipment and, if misused, can cause injury. Electricity is made at the power plant and leaves the plant through transmission wires. This high-level electricity travels long distances through the transmission wires until it arrives at a substation. At the substation, the electricity goes through a transformer and is stepped down to a lower, more usable level. The electricity leaves the substation through distribution wires. It travels shorter distances through the distribution wires and arrives at either a pole or green box near your home or business. If it arrives at a pole, the electricity is changed again to an even lower level and is delivered to your meter by the service drop wires. If it arrives at the green box or underground transformer, it travels through wires beneath the ground to your meter. Once the electricity passes through the meter, it enters your home or business through the service panel and is distributed to your wall outlets. Electricity deserves a healthy dose of respect by those who use it or work around it. These safety tips will help to keep you and your loved ones safe and healthy. Always presume wires have electricity running through them and that they are never safe to touch. If you see a fallen wire, call 911 and your local power company immediately. Do not approach the wire or let anyone else near it. Do not touch anything or anyone the line may be touching. Objects can become energized just by contacting a downed power line. Even telephone or cable lines can become energized, so don't touch any wires. Do not enter any electrical substation for any reason. Do not approach or climb on any electrical equipment. Always be aware of overhead lines. Keep ladders, TV antennas, pool and gardening tools, satellite dishes, and any equipment away from all wires. You should maintain a minimum of 10 feet of clearance from the wires at all times. Contact with underground lines can be deadly as well. Always call 811 before any digging project. If your vehicle comes in contact with a utility pole or wire, do not get out of the car. Call 911 and alert others to stay away from your vehicle. If you must exit the vehicle because of fire or other imminent danger, remove all loose items or clothing and jump clear of the vehicle. Avoid touching the car and the ground at the same time. Land with both feet together, keep your feet as close together as possible, and shuffle away from the car. Copper theft can kill you. Do not attempt to steal copper from electric lines or facilities. Tell your friends and loved ones stealing copper is illegal and can be deadly. Do not ever attempt to remove your meter or the box which holds it. There are live wires behind the meter. In the event of a fire or other emergency, call the power company to safely turn off the electricity. Always have a certified electrician work on your service panel or circuit breakers. Turn off all circuit breakers before doing any electrical work at your home or business. Don't overload your home circuits. Use surge protectors to help protect from any fluctuations in electricity. Don't use power tools or appliances with frayed or broken cords. Never cut the third prong or ground off of a plug to make it usable in a two prong outlet. And finally, don't take chances with electricity and your safety. If you need assistance or more information, please contact your local power company.